All right, what's good, everybody? We got quite an interesting matchup here. Uh, Donnie Ray on Scylla versus, I believe, Blue on Ymir. Bed of Chaos versus Bed of Chaos. Am I crazy, or does one of these Bed of Chaoses look more bolded than the other? This one's more bold by far, right? Is anybody with me? Does it bold the one that you're highlighting? No. Holy shit. Right? Am I wrong, you guys? This one is far more bolded. Keep quiet if you give me gems. You did not see my IP. You shitter. You did not see my IP. You fuck. <laughs> Whisper me if you want it. It's not? It's not more bold? Are you guys crazy? It so is. Tell me in the YouTube comments, guys, if you see that as more bold than I do. Or if you if you see that more, more bold as I do. Okay, so Donnie going ham. Bleed going ham. Early game here definitely goes to bleed. And will he secure it? Yes. Donnie out of his goddamn mind there. First of all, Donnie, why the fuck you go Vamp Shroud on Scylla? Literally the god that Soulstone was invented for to make her early game strong as fuck. He keeps doing this, and it's triggering me. Bleed should have gone Van Shroud, and he did. Bleed doesn't even have a pot? Are you kidding me? Oh, he does. How the fuck do he have the boots, too? What the fuck? He just bought those? All right. He just bought them. Never mind, guys. We're cool. We're cool. He just bought them. Don't worry about it. Definitely more bold. See that? A lot of people are saying it. He did not see... All right. Tell me if a mod... Tell me if you really saw it. It is more bold? Yes, I knew it. Wait, now it's not more bold. Wait. Oh my god. I can't tell anymore. Yes, it is. It is. It is. So in this matchup, like I said, the early game goes to Ymir. The late game will most likely go to Scylla. Uh, Donnie, I'm not sure, you know, this, he's pretty much, he's a mastermind of uh, strategy, in all honesty. Uh, he really knows what his opponent is going to opt into, at least the kind of god he's going to opt into. Um, and a lot of that does go, uh, or a lot of that is accredited to the fact that he fights Bleed, Zving, and Diesel so often, and he's usually against them in the finals, so it, it does make sense that he kind of knows the gods that they're going to go. Uh, but he uses it very well to his advantage. Uh, this is a much better game for Bleed than the last, of course. Um, if this doesn't go to Bleed, it's going to be hilarious. Did he get it? He didn't get it? Oh, he did. He did. Okay, okay. Very nice. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, you used to be able to build crit on magical gods. It's pretty funny. Donnie is to the... Did I not say... Did I... What? Um, Bleed opting into the late game builds here, and I do not like it. As I've already said, this is a... You know, Scylla, hashtag Scylla win in the late game. Yeah, of course you can, Jig. Of course, man. Um, so this is a Scylla late game win, and Bleed is going for a late game build. Oh, shit. That was crucial, but that was also ridiculous. Donnie. Oh, oh my god. That Ymir 2 seemed so much longer that time than I've ever seen it before. That was the epitome of max range on that thing. Bleed, looking real good here. Such great plays from both players there. My God, that was that was beautiful. Both players juking and using their actives perfectly there, but it just goes bleed's way, just barely. Um, in all honesty, Donnie should not have taken that option. Once he rooted him, the root was beautiful, and he should have stuck by that root and gotten the fuck out. But instead, he wanted to counter engage because Donnie's really aggressive, and he, you know, he really wanted uh, to turn that into a kill. Yo, what's up, Choo Choo? So bleed with uh, quite a lead here, 1,000 gold ahead. Donnie does not go the Salty Boys build and uh, get a second pot, right? Unless he lost it already. I, I'm pretty sure he didn't, but right. 
Um, and Donny very uh, wisely opting into this Warlock Sash because he's valuing his late game. Bleed, I mean, like, if he keeps getting more and more ahead... Holy shit, he got that Fire Giant and he snuck that even out from under my eyes, dude. That was smart. Ah, uh, this is kind of awkward. He took the hit too, right, from that too? I actually can't even fucking tell because he had a pot ticking, so he's, like, regening. I don't know. Um, and right now, Donny does, like, next to no damage. <laughs> All right, never mind. He does some damage. He does some damage. He's got an ultimate available. Uh, he's looking for it. If he hits this root, he's got the positioning for it. There you go. Bleeds. Uh, Aegis is down. Oh my god. He almost dodged that. The two is coming out. Bleeds that. Great, great counter engage from Donnie there. Bleed just. Uh, oh man. Taking that fire giant there is so such a uh, a self bait there. You end up baiting yourself by getting it because. It's, you know, it's great to take down the Fire Giant and get it, get the buff and get the, you know, oh, the regen from the Fire Giant too, you know, from, uh, is why I couldn't tell if Donnie actually hit him with that too. Um, but, uh, you know, it's such, it's great to get that, that early, uh, that early buff and the fact that you get the, the tower down, but that you don't actually take the tower this early on, especially as you mirror, you don't, right? You don't have any potential. To take that down as an ABC, you take you can go take that fire giant, especially as like Apollo and just fly the fuck away or something. But Ymir, you have like no escape options. Look how much he does to this tower literally nothing, <laughs> quite literally nothing. Um, so that it's just not sensible, there's no reason to do it. Nice, nice freeze. Um, so it was just a complete throw of Bleed's lead there. And look at that. Tower's already back up. Look how much damage he got off of that Fire Giant. <laughs> yeah, 100 gold, a little bit of XP. It's it's dumb, dude. There's no reason to do it. Um, and so many people bait themselves into trying. Uh, and until, like, the 10-minute mark, it's not worth going for in most situations. Unless your opponent's dead and you have really confirmed ability to do it, right? It's just not worth sneaking out because if they do catch you, you're most likely dead, um, and it's just, you know, uh, that's that's rip. Both players being very cautious here. Uh, Ymir, you know, I think has the wall available again. Maybe he didn't actually. No, he didn't. That's, that's a long ass cooldown on timer. Uh, Aegis available? Yep. Why didn't he Aegis? <laughs> I don't know why he did Aegis there. He might have had an opportunity, especially... No, I don't know. You know, after his ult ended, the, while he was in his ult, obviously he couldn't Aegis, but after the ult ended, he definitely had the ability to and just did not do it. I think Bleed is just not feeling himself after that first game. Um, and in general, you know, I don't think he uh, he thinks that he's that uh, able to beat Donnie in general. Uh, all of Bed of Chaos, like, respects the hell out of Donnie, as yes, they should. Uh, but they respect him to the point where a lot of them count themselves out against him. Like, Bleed had a fantastic early game here. And a lot of the reason why he's losing this now is, one, he got greedy and went for the Fire Giant when he shouldn't have. Um, and two, he went into a late game build here, so he's not as relevant as he should be in this uh, early to mid. Thank you, Ian. Dude, I'm so hungry. After this game, I'm getting cereal. Nice thing. Genji's opted into by Bleed here, which means he has even less damage on his side because he's building a Warlocks, which is effectively health and hardly any damage until it's fully stacked. Uh, and then again, Genji's. So I would have really liked for Bleed. All right, I would have really liked for Bleed to go into a, um, a Void Stone. You know, Void Stone early on uh, is the perfect uh, snowball item in a mage ditto, uh, or, you know, uh, Guardian versus mage uh, especially. And um, it's just, instead he chose, again, he roots himself, but he's gonna be able to age just this time, very nice. Uh, could spell a counter engage. I don't think he has anything available. Oh, good job. Ah, uh, just off the mark. Not sure why he didn't freeze before that too. He might have had like one second, uh, you know, one second off on the freeze. So he just used his two first. But had he used that freeze, it would have been a confirmed kill. Oh, really nice. Uh, is Sentinel available? Nope. Or yes, <laughs> but he doesn't need to use it. Oh my god, that was so cute. Really nice bait there. Donnie goes down and bleed, you know, gets a little bit back into this game. Uh, actually, gold lead in bleed's favor. 
Still the experience, uh, still slightly in Donnie's. Let me see what, how much. Ah, it's about to, gonna tie it up here. No, he's not. <laughs> almost, though, almost. So, Bleed definitely back in this game. Like I said, the issue is that uh, he's going for a late game build here against the late game god, Scylla. So, uh, very interested to see if Bleed is able to uh, to make something out of this and and, uh, and somehow conquer the uh, late game. What does it take to join Bed of Chaos? Uh, ask the uh, the members of it in chat or anything. But I mean, you, a much cooler clan is uh, the Shadow Realm clan, as well as the enemy CC. Just gonna throw that out there. Oh, really smart of Donnie to use beads there. Even smarter of <laughs> Even smarter of Bleed to wall himself off. Oh my god. He's going for it regardless. Nope, he's getting baited like crazy. Oh, bleed, please. So he goes down because of... <laughs> because of some really questionable plays. That wall, if that wall was on point, it would have been a, an amazing kill. Uh, it was so well followed up by bleed, especially that preemptive beads. Or rather, it was like a very well-timed beads. As soon as Scylla hit the... Uh, um, as soon as Scylla hit the root, he just immediately beats that shit. Very well timed. Uh, and then to wall himself off there instead of walling the Scylla off was just such a derp. Unfortunate. He's finally going into pen here uh, with the Obsidian Shard. Not that Scylla had uh, defense before, but you know, it's still, he didn't have much damage uh, to him at all. Donnie really overstaying here, but he's valuing the fact that he has the Sentinel to go over the wall and. Uh, He's kind of free. I don't like that he took the aggro from the minions there, but... Ymir's going to have to look for a clutch wall, and he's not really in a great position to do it. Another great route from Donnie. Uh, Sentinel not available for another three seconds. Bleed going to be able to get him. Yep, there you go. A pretty lousy game so far here. Just absolutely ridiculous things happening on both sides. You know, this is, uh, this is really the way. There he goes, Bleed. Good sport. Um... <laughs> Showing off for the crowd, his uh, awful wall skills. So, um, in all honesty, the uh, this is this is the pace, uh, or not the pace, but the um, <laughs> god damn it, the atmosphere that you expect for a grand finals in a match, uh, a matchup like this, where it's two players that are very friendly with each other. You know, both in the same clan. Um, the difference in gem prizing here is 400. So, I mean, it's it's not huge, right? It's not like one player is competing for a thousand while the other player is competing for like 200 or some shit like that, right? Um, so they're, you know, they're both very comfortable and they're both very willing to just, uh, uh, to play around with each other and have fun with these matches. And I, I enjoy seeing these a lot because, you know, uh, while they're semi-competitive, they're also a lot of fun between these two players and, you know, they're, they're having a good time with it. Donnie yet again uh, puts himself a little bit out of position, but Bleed yet again not able to seal that wall. That one was uh, just very close, actually, and it was a little bit of a reach. There was uh, very little chance of him being able to get that one off there, but he went for it regardless. Oh, wow, does he does hit that bulwark uh, proc, and uh, Bleed, no option here, though. Um, if he had, like, a sprint or a blink, you know, he might have the option to continue, but... Oh, wow, very nice uh, beats... <laughs> he stood there and wel welcomed the uh, the old with that Aegis. Wow, such nice roots from Donnie. I like seeing this. Uh, these Scylla mechanics are so on point from him. And to be fair, it's pretty easy to uh, to root the Emir because he's such a large target and he's so immobile. But still, great play from uh, from Donnie overall here uh, on a god that you know I, I don't think he plays that much given that you know most of his duel. Oh my god, when will he go in? Is the question. Will he? It was a bait. He's got his two. Bleed is dead. Bleed had very little options there, considering he was on Donnie's side of the map. Yeah, Drufus, you can join the Shadow Realm whether you're sub or not. I believe uh, you just got to message a mod uh, to to let them know that you're applying and they'll accept you. And that goes for anybody on uh, in the YouTube as well, you guys. Uh, if you'd like to join the Shadow Realm clan, definitely do so. Uh, we try to keep it, you know, really nice. Uh, it's a great community where, you know, everybody uh, is just very chill. Anybody that's, you know, like BM or anything in it, we immediately, you know, get rid of or at least warn. Um, and, you know, I, I think it's a really nice place to just hang out, make some friends and, uh, you know, play some games.
other than that, Enemy CC is also an awesome uh, clan that you know I, I try to closely moderate. Um, some of those fan clans, you know, can get uh, a little bit bad because you know you, there's a wide range of fans, right? A lot of people entering, and uh, you can't always count on everybody to be you know nice guys. So uh, you know, uh, if you ever find anybody in there uh, being an asshole, just let me know. Uh huh. Donnie with the questionable play is bleed. Gonna be able to get this full ultimate off, but not much damage on his side. Uh, good attempted ultimate from Donnie, but this is gonna be death. As long as bleed hits his shit. Oh my god, bleed. Please use your freeze before you use the two, man. But he's able to take it anyway uh, due to the uh, frostbite passive there. Gonna finally be able to take down this tower. Donnie down a significant amount of gold, uh, mostly due to just... <laughs> Due to some questionable plays, like quite a bit of aggression that, you know, has not been warranted in these situations. God damn it, if Donnie lets us go to a third game just because of playing like an idiot, <laughs> I'm gonna be annoyed. But if Bleed does some, you know, some sick shit to uh, to pull this off in game three, it'll be, you know, interesting game three, because I imagine in a game three scenario, these players will be uh, playing up a little bit more uh, to their, uh, yeah, playing to their strengths a bit more. Bleed walls himself off to uh, actually, you know, very smartly deter the Scylla aggression. Uh, Bleed did take that, right? Yes, very nice. An another nice wall. Bleed really making up for these uh, <laughs> poor walls with uh, with some good uh, some good placement here. Donnie got the experience lead, whereas Bleed has such a large gold lead. Usually, you don't see this, you know. Usually it's, uh, you know, it goes pretty hand in hand in, uh, in duel. Uh, but I'm guessing that, uh, Donnie has forced bleed off of a. Oh, that was cute as hell. Really nice. I love that. Over the wall, Scylla ult. There was, like, a really cool video of somebody doing that and getting, like, a triple kill off of it before. Uh, bleed very, very smartly gonna go over to this. Oh, wow. I wish he was gonna do it, but he's a little low. So I guess, uh, if Donnie pursued, which he very well might have might have been the key word he actually wouldn't have um so bleed would have gotten that and it would be a good trade that's a situation where fire giant is a good trade uh to give yourself up for because that's a phoenix uh that's a phoenix down uh and i don't think donnie would have been able to uh take it for himself because his push isn't that strong he doesn't even have uh polynomicon really surprised to see no poly here actually last item he's gonna go ahead most likely it's got the rod done. Uh, really good wall there. The two is going to slow him, but uh, shouldn't be able to aggress into the Phoenix here. Oh my god, that sounds awful. Tuning out. What the fuck? How the shit? There's one spot that you can click on off of the spectator map that brings you... What the? Only this one path, I think. Otherwise, there's nothing you could do like that. Like, you can't do that anywhere else. What the fuck? Alright, so, just so you guys know, secret strats. If you wanna, you know, see the beautiful view of these rocks. Okay, so things are going on. Not too much damage applied yet, but, uh, Bleed really, uh, laying it on here. I'm telling you, these walls have been good now. Bleed's really, uh, able to turn it around for himself here oh good ultimates from both players but uh donnie gets the better of it oh such so low is bleed one auto will do it most likely there it is it was a poly shot too right that's why i don't think one auto would have done it after he was regening a little bit there so it was a poly shot fuck the match explore If you see a buff and it's grayed out, red team got it. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, Donnie throwing out these abilities here to uh, proc his poly, of course. And he takes down that Phoenix. So even though Bleed has maintained a gold lead throughout this match, Donnie, like I said, is the better late game god. So if he plays correctly, he's going to be able to, uh, he's going to be able to take this game. It's all up to Donnie to just really land his stuff and not over aggress like crazy he picks up the red buff here but <laughs> bleed is hot on the trail 
No beads from Blade there? Does he he had it? I'm surprised he didn't go for it, given the position that Silla was in. He uses everything over the wall, but uh, both out of reach and uh, out of range or both out of reach and out of position uh, were those abilities. Donnie being really greedy yet again, but he has the Sentinel available, but it's right in front of Ymir's face. Doesn't matter. Finishes him off with the one there. GG. Donnie wins yet another one of these bi-weekly sub-only tournaments, and I actually really enjoyed this one. While the Grand Finals was a little bit lackluster because these guys messed around a, a quite a little bit, um, it, well, it was really only in this game. In the first game, uh, it was just Donnie played it really well. Um, it was overall, I really liked how this one turned out. B tier and below gods. This is uh, definitely an interesting one, though. Uh, we we ended up seeing a lot of the same gods in Scylla. In y actually, no. Fuck that. We only saw, like, two Scyllas. I, actually, we saw quite a little bit of variety here, which I enjoyed. Um, we even saw, you know, the, like, between the games, we saw Kukulkan, we saw Kabraken, we saw some Thor. Uh, both times, or no, Thor won one and he lost the other one miserably to Zeus, actually, you know, so there's quite a little bit of counterplay within the tiers, and uh, we saw Ymir played as well. Um, we saw some Ra, we saw some Wukong, and, you know, I liked how this one played out. Uh, we saw some Geb. Yeah, I give it up for Geb. So this was quite an interesting tournament overall. Thank you guys so much for uh, participating. Have a good one, Donnie. Thanks for playing, man.